Imagine a universe where information doesn't just travel, it multiplies, grows, and evolves like a living thing. A viral rumor has been swirling online, claiming MIT researchers witnessed something impossible. A quantum afterimage that began copying itself, defying the laws of physics. No peer-reviewed journal confirms this, and no scientist has stepped forward to verify it. Yet, the idea taps into something very real. Quantum physics is already stranger than science fiction. From teleporting particles across islands to ghost images appearing where no light should exist, we're on the brink of discoveries that could rewrite reality itself. So, what if quantum information could replicate like DNA? What would that mean for our universe, our technology, and even the definition of life? Buckle up, because today we're diving deep into the wild world of quantum information, exploring verified science, debunking myths, and asking questions that might just keep you up at night. Drop a comment with your thoughts. What's the weirdest quantum phenomenon you've heard about? And if you love unraveling cosmic mysteries, hit that like button and subscribe for more. Let's start with what we know for sure. Quantum teleportation is real, and it's happening right now. Scientists have teleported particles of light, photons, over 100 miles, from one Canary Island to another. Picture this, a photon is zapped in one place, and poof, it materializes somewhere else, carrying its quantum state intact. This isn't Star Trek fantasy, it's verified science. In 2025, Kyoto University took it further, teleporting quantum information using three entangled particles at once, a breakthrough published in peer-reviewed journals. MIT also made waves the same year, simulating a quantum wormhole on Google's Sycamore processor, where information vanished from one system and reappeared in another, matching theoretical predictions perfectly. These experiments sound like magic, but they follow strict rules. One of those rules is the no-cloning theorem, a cornerstone of quantum mechanics. It states that you cannot make an exact copy of an unknown quantum state, ever. When a photon is teleported, the original state is destroyed, the information moves, it doesn't duplicate. This law is as fundamental as gravity, keeping the universe's information budget in check. Now let's address the rumor head on. The claim is that MIT researchers saw a quantum afterimage, a faint echo of quantum information, that didn't just persist but started replicating itself across detectors, growing sharper with each copy. This is explosive because it violates the no-cloning theorem. If true, it's not just a small glitch. It's a seismic shift in physics. Imagine you could photocopy your fingerprint perfectly, over and over, while your original finger stays unchanged. That's what breaking the no-cloning theorem would mean, quantum information duplicating without destroying the original. Every quantum experiment ever conducted obeys this rule. Encryption systems, like those securing your bank account, rely on it. Quantum computers assume it holds true. If it doesn't, the implications are staggering. Encryption could collapse, quantum networks could become unpredictable, and we'd need to rethink the nature of information itself. So why does this rumor hit so hard? Because it suggests quantum information could behave like biological DNA. Self-replicating, spreading, evolving. That's not just physics. That's a step towards something that looks alive. To understand why this idea is so wild, let's ground ourselves in a real phenomenon, ghost imaging. Since 1995, scientists have been creating images with photons that never touch the object they're imaging. Here's how it works. You split entangled photons into two beams. One beam hits an object like a cat figurine. The other beam goes nowhere near it. Yet, when you correlate the data, the second beam produces a perfect image of the cat. Photons that never saw the object create its picture. This has been verified in labs worldwide, published in journals like Nature. It's mind-bending, but real. The MIT rumor sounds like ghost imaging gone rogue. An image that didn't fade, but multiplied, as if the system was learning to reinforce itself. Quantum echoes, another verified phenomenon, add to the intrigue. In systems like NMR or superconducting qubits, signals can vanish and resurface like a delayed radio wave, but these echoes always decay, getting weaker each time. The rumor claims something different, echoes that grew louder, sharper, as if the quantum system was amplifying itself. Think of shouting into a canyon. Normally, the echo comes back fainter. 
Now imagine it coming back louder, joined by new voices you didn't create. That's the kind of weirdness we're talking about. So what could cause something like this? Let's explore three possibilities, from mundane to world-shattering. First, it could be an instrumental artifact. Labs are full of sensitive equipment that can play tricks. Cameras can have charge persistence, where old data lingers and looks like new signals. Stray laser reflections can bounce between mirrors, creating false patterns. Software glitches can display cached data as fresh results. These are boring but common issues in quantum labs, and teams run diagnostics to rule them out. This explanation requires no new physics, just better calibration. Second, it could be a quantum echo misread as replication. Quantum systems can produce echoes, where signals temporarily vanish and reappear. This happens in atomic ensembles or superconducting circuits. Maybe the replicating image was just an echo that looked like something more. This stretches physics to unusual limits but doesn't break any fundamental laws. It's plausible but would need specific, undocumented conditions. Third, the impossible true replication. If the no-cloning theorem collapsed and quantum information learned to duplicate itself, we'd be rewriting physics from scratch. Quantum computers would become unpredictable, encryption systems would fail, information theory would crumble, but it goes deeper. If quantum states could replicate without external input, they'd start behaving like life, self-copying, self-reinforcing, evolving. That's not just a discovery, it's the birth of something entirely new. Now, let's zoom out and think about what self-replicating quantum information would mean for humanity. Communication systems would transform overnight. Imagine signals that don't degrade as they travel, but grow stronger, reinforcing themselves across vast distances. Quantum networks that can't be broken because they rebuild themselves faster than you can disrupt them. Current quantum communication relies on fragile entanglement, break the connection, and it fails. Self-replicating quantum states would be unstoppable. But there's a darker side. Any technology this powerful gets weaponized. Duplicating quantum information could create interference patterns that overwhelm enemy systems like jamming that multiplies exponentially or signals that spread like viruses through quantum networks. The first nation to control this would hold a strategic advantage unlike anything we've seen. Beyond technology, the philosophical stakes are even higher. We've always separated matter, life, and information into neat categories. Self-replicating quantum states would blur those lines. Information that copies itself without molecules, patterns that spread without cells, code that behaves like DNA but exists in probability clouds. When does physics end and life begin? When does information become conscious of itself? This brings us to quantum biology, a field that shows life already exploits quantum weirdness. Plants use quantum coherence in photosynthesis, finding the most efficient energy pathways through superposition. Migratory birds navigate using quantum entanglement in their eyes, where cryptochromes detect magnetic fields via quantum spin states. These are verified published findings, not speculation. Life has been using quantum mechanics for millions of years, but these are passive systems, harnessing quantum effects that already exist in nature. The MIT rumor suggests something active. Quantum information copying itself, not just using biology's tools, but behaving like biology itself. Think about DNA. Four simple molecules arranged in sequences that copy, spread, and evolve. If quantum states could do the same, we'd be looking at information that doesn't need molecules to replicate. Pure information breeding more information. Would that still be physics? Or would we be witnessing the birth of a new kind of life? One that exists in probability clouds instead of cells? Let's revisit the rumor one last time. It started with a faint ghost image, barely detectable, easy to dismiss as a glitch. But each supposed replication grew sharper, clearer, as if the system was learning to assert its own existence. That's not how equipment malfunctions work. Artifacts don't improve themselves. They fade or stay constant. So, what's scarier? A mundane explanation like a detector error, or the possibility that a quantum system rewrote the rules of physics in real time?
The boring answer is a software bug, stray reflections, or a miscalibrated camera. Labs deal with these daily, and a quick diagnostic would clear it up. But the other path leads somewhere wilder. Quantum information developing emergent behavior, crossing into territory that looks biological. If information can replicate like DNA, we're not just talking about new technology. We're questioning what it means to exist. Is this a glitch in the machine or the first glimpse of a new kind of reality? To wrap this up, let's bring it full circle. The MIT rumor remains unverified. No journal, no scientist, no data backs it up. But exploring it has shown us how close quantum physics already is to the impossible. Ghost imaging creates pictures from photons that never arrived. Quantum echoes bring signals back from nothing. Teleportation moves information across space without crossing it. Life itself uses quantum tricks to thrive. The no-cloning theorem holds firm, but quantum biology hints that the boundary between physics and life might be thinner than we think. Maybe the rumor is just a ghost in the machine, detector noise, human error, or wishful thinking. Or maybe it's a glimpse of something we're not ready to understand, the moment when information learns to live. The universe is stranger than we imagine, and maybe stranger than we can imagine. If questions like this fire up your curiosity, hit subscribe and join us for the next cosmic mystery. Share your thoughts in the comments. What do you think the next quantum breakthrough will be? And if you enjoyed this deep dive, give us a like and share this video with someone who loves a good mind bender. Until next time, keep looking up because the universe is full of surprises.